Hi friends, good afternoon. Uh, you are watching CMA Leaf channel, which is for CMA student. Uh, please subscribe to the channel that is a CMA Leaf and click on bell icon so you'll get upcoming videos. As I discussed last video, that I'm going to revise the points in very fast and uh, fast track manner. So, which is uh, going to be help nearby exam, or you can wherever you are sitting or you are uh, lying on your bed you can watch the video and you can utilize it like that one or i'm just creating uh, within 10 to 12 hours it should complete like that so let us start i'm going to first starting audit this is a group 2 company accountant audit paper 12 scanner let us see how it will go now uh, first i'm going to start uh, this is you can read because that is not important points are there so let us i will start with uh, are you seeing okay the meaning of an audit content the meaning of audit content the intelligent and critical examination of the books of accounts of business it is done by an independent qualified person it is done with the help of voucher documentation information and explanation received from the clients the auditor satisfies himself with the authenticity of the financial accounts prepared for the particular period now features of the auditing audit is a systematic and scientific examination of books of accounts of a business audit is undertaken by an independent person of a body of person or uh, person or body of person who are duly qualified for the job uh, third audit is a verification of the results shown by the profit and loss account and the state of affairs as shown by the balance sheet fourth point audit is a critical review of the system of accounting and internal control fifth point audit is done with the help of vouchers documentation information explanation received from the authorities next okay one second uh, objectives of auditing the objectives of auditing may be classified into two parts the primary objective and the secondary objectives or incidental objectives now basic principles gov of governing an audit the basic principles books they are given in detail if they are here they are given in short way only that's what i'm reading i can't cut in the scanner but let us see how much it will take time for one part uh, basic principles governing an audit integrity objectivity and independence first point confidentiality second point skills and competence uh, competence uh, fourth one work performed by others fifth one documentation sixth one planning seventh one audit evidence eighth one accounting system and internal control uh, ninth one audit conclusion and reporting this is a basic principles governing an audit true, true and fair view uh, the books of accounts have recorded all the business transaction correctly the books of accounts have been prepared ac uh, according to the accept accepted principles of accountancy and have followed accounting standard issued by the different uh, regulatory bodies third one there is no error and frauds present in the books of account fourth one the financial statement that have been prepared by the company are in conformity with the books of accounts and all mandatory provision of companies act fifth one the books of accounts must disclose all material facts regarding revenue expenses asset and liabilities okay next this is true and fair view detail advantages of an independent audit what is the advantages it safeguards the financial interest of a person who are not associated with the management of the entity whether they are partners or shareholders second one it fact as a moral check on on the employees from the committing uh, defalcations and embezzlement sixth one audited statements of accounts are helpful in setting liabilities of taxes uh, negotiate here uh, negotiating loans and uh, for determining the purchases consideration for the business fourth one these are also used for settling the trade dispute or higher wages of bonus as well as claims in respect of damage suffered by the property by the some other calamity audited accounts are the great help in the settlement of accounts at the time of admission death of partner government may require audited and certified statement before it gives assistant or issues a license for a particular this is the summary of that 
particular chapter they are given audit, uh, auditing concepts now the descriptive questions 2007 if you want you can read otherwise skip it because it is 2007 next question 2008 if you want you can read i will start from 2012 uh, this is expl uh, this is 2009 okay one statement is there i will read that uh, what is a uh, comment on the following statement based on the legal provision auditor's primary responsibility is detect to errors and fraud it is a false auditor's primary response a responsibility as per a a s2 i doubt this is is to express an opinion on financial statement is the primary responsibility is the express an opinion on financial statement second one explain the factors which act as guiding measures to the concept of materiality i will go to one one point individuality aggregate you can read it is booking is there i will record that also individuality a uh, legal consideration legal definition relate to overall impact qualitative insignificant quantity but special con context okay now i will start from here example uh, december 2012 risk of non detection of error is less than the risk of non detection of fraud they are telling uh, detection of fraud is more than non detection of error is less is it correct they are asking comment risk of non connection of error is less than the risk of non detection of fraud comment fraud is more difficult to detect than error fraud obviously it is more uh, more than to detect error fraud may be divided broadly into two classed one is defalcation involving either either misappropriation of money or goods second the fraudulent manipulation of accounts not involving defalcation this is since fraud generally involves complicated tick, uh, ticklish and carefully organized organized uh, per organized schemes to co concede the same from the eyes of the auditor and or the management such as forgery institutional failure of records transaction cooking up the vouchers and expenses etc they asked for two marks they given more you can write or you can make it small but i don't want make it too small we have to write in proper way okay the question on 2014 june bring out the tabular form of the relationship between the accounting and auditing this one state the aspects to seen by the auditor ensure that the statement audited project a true and fair view okay first we'll go differentiation of uh, accounting and auditing analyze first accounting and auditing analyze the events and transaction review of in our accounting auditing review clients internal control system second record the summarized data of accounting records auditing obtain the evaluate evidence on statement assertions make financial statement assertion determine fa uh, fairness of statement in conformity with recognition accounting principles prepare financial statement as per recognized accounting principles prepare audit report on finding uh, distribute financial statements and auditors report to shareholders deliver audit report to the client okay so next question next one is for this state the aspects to be seen by an auditor to ensure that the statement audited projected true and fair view second question answer is this one that the asset are neither undervalued or overvalued accordingly to the application accounting principles first one that one second one no material asset is omitted third one the charges if any on asset are disclosed fourth one material liability should not be omitted uh, okay uh, fifth on the profit and loss account disclosed all the matter required to the to be disclosed by part 2 of schedule 3rd and the balance sheet has prepared in accordance with the part 1 schedule 3 6 one and usual unusual expect uh, exception or non recurring items have been disclosed separately uh, 2014 uh, the concept of true and fair is a fundamental concept of auditing the answer is the main of uh, okay the answer is the main object of the auditing is find to whether the financial statement prepared uh, by a company show true and fair view the financial state of affairs of a company and it is not then what respect then they are not showing the accounts are said to be true and fair if they are given this uh, this many points uh, the books of accounts have recorded all the business transaction once again okay for 
2014 first only okay the books of accounts have recorded all the business transaction correctly the books of accounts have been prepared accordingly to the to the accepted principles of accountancy and have followed accounting standard issued by different regulatory bodies uh, third there are no errors and frauds present in the books of accounts the financial statement that have been prepared by the company are in conformity with the books of accounts and all mandatory provisions of the companies act fifth one the profit and loss uh, shown in the profit and loss account shows the true and fair result of the entity operations and the value of the asset and liabilities appearing in the balance sheet is shown the correct financial picture sixth one the book of account must disclose all material fact regarding revenue expenses and asset and liabilities this is it some material misstatement remain unreported by the auditors 2016 you can read this okay how much okay next it will go for our uh, types of audit this is it within 11 minutes it is done i don't know how it will be uh, is it i think it will be useful when you don't have material with hand and you want to listen so thanks for watching this video thanks a lot bye, -bye.